For at TV, the world is thinking. Many Americans were really unable to understand why the tortures at Abu Ghraib were viewed as so horrible um, when Saddam Hussein was chopping off fingers and ears. I mean, how can you say that piling a group of people up on a sort of sexual pyramid was such a nasty thing when, you know, this was a guy who tore people's eyes out, you know? Um, and here I go back to something that I think is really fundamental to both the Muslim and the Christian world, and I, I, I repeatedly say this. Um, you know, before, during the Roman period, crucifixion was considered to be the worst of all punishments. It was the worst of all punishments because it violated five of the most fundamental things on which civilization is based. It replaced justice with revenge of a crowd. It introduced public humiliation into acts of justice. It left the dead to be eaten by animals. It did not allow for the bereavement of the families. Um, I think there was a, a fifth one. It's interesting that both Christians and Muslims don't do crucifixion after 600 or 700 or 400, whatever the period is, that the Roman ritual dies out. In fact, it's generally accepted among Muslims that a punishment is inhumane if it feeds revenge, um, adds humiliation, does not allow for the basic features of bereavement and dignity that are associated to human beings. And there are plenty of hadiths that say this. So um, what the Americans did, I mean, was they violated some of the most fundamental things that basically anybody who had any conception of order, Christian or Muslim in the Middle East, saw as sort of fundamentally a violation. And so for them it was shocking. And so not surprisingly, um, they felt that they couldn't go back home. I mean, to add nakedness to pain is considered to be one of the most viable things. I mean, there's a famous hadith in which Ali, the son-in-law of the prophet, is about to kill his enemy and the guy's pants fall down. And he says, okay, I'm not killing this guy. And they say, why? And he said, you don't add humiliation to death. <laughs> you just don't. And this is a really famous hadith. It's, this, it's the idea of the chivalrous warrior. And, you know, and as I explained to American evangelicals, I say, you aren't the only people who think Christ crucifixion is a horrible thing. <laughs> Right? Most of the world thinks crucifixion is a horrible thing, and these are the reasons why. So we actually have a shared culture, at least in, among us, about what we shouldn't do. And guess what? You guys just violated that, and we need to come to terms with those things.